Hi there, my name is Alana and today we're going to be taking a look at a new launch from Too Faced. Too Faced has recently released four new mini palettes. So we're going to chat a little bit about the collection, then we're going to put it on, and then we're going to chat a bit more. So without any further ado, let's get started. So these palettes retail for 27 US dollars or 36 Canadian. Each of the palettes has its own color story and its own inspiration. But across the board, they come in these great little metal tins. And then you've got two larger rectangular shadows and six slightly smaller square. There's a mix of matte and shimmer, and every palette has a nice little mirror. They close very nicely with a little bit of a magnetic component in it, which is great. I feel like it closes relatively securely. Maybe not the most secure ever, but it closes nicely. So let's put these on my eyes and then we'll talk about them. So first up we have Let's Play. This is a pink eyeshadow palette and it says it smells like bubble gum, although I don't smell anything. So we're gonna start off with this shimmery shade right up here. Do the shades have names? Yes, it's called Joystick. We're gonna start off with Joystick and put this all over my lid, I like to use a shade like this as a sort of a priming shade. Now I'm going to use this matte pink shade down here, which is called Don't Play Me as our transition shade. I'm already feeling major Valentine's Day vibes. Now I'm gonna use this plum shade over here, which is called Cheat Code, to deepen out, deepen up our outer crease. Now I'm just gonna take a clean blending brush to just blend everything in a little better. And then let's take this shade right here with our finger called Multiplayer and put this on our lid. Okay, I'm definitely getting some fallout from this one. Not as creamy or as blendable as I'm used to for their shimmer formula. When I do a look this bold, I do like to bring a little bit under my eye because I just feel like it kind of helps everything just look as bold as it should. I'm gonna do some swatches on my arm really quickly. Okay, so this is what the Let's Play palette looks like on me. And I mean, I was expecting it to be pink, but I was also, I mean, like, look at it. But I don't know why in my mind I thought it'd be a little bit more neutral, but it's very, very pretty. I was actually the most impressed by this bubblegum pink shadow here. And this one, when I swatched, it was really nice as well. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with Kitty Likes to Scratch, which says it smells like a tequila sunrise. I, I don't smell anything. But this is the palette, and this is probably the palette of the collection that if I was in the store and was going to buy one, this is probably the one I'd buy. And in fact, I did briefly have it in my cart, but I was like, Alana, you do not need any more eyeshadow palettes. So thank you to Too Faced for sending these to me because now I don't have to buy them. So, but yeah, this is the one that attracted me the most. So we're gonna start off with Pet Me, which is just that matte ivory shade up there. You guys, if you are familiar with my channel, know that I love to start all my looks off with a shade like that if I can. Now I'm gonna put this matte light brown, which is called Backstage Pass, is it? Yeah, Backstage Pass. We're gonna put that as our transition shade in the crease. Guys, the other reason I was interested in this palette, for just being honest, is I am a cat lady. Now I wouldn't say I'm like a crazy cat lady, no. In fact, my husband and I are like a crazy cat couple. 
Ooh, this is a really beautiful shade. I really like this one. I actually always really like Too Faced Matte Shadows. So let's take this shade up here. I think that looks fun. Rock of Ages. And just put that in my outer V. Just to try to fill up a little more depth in here. And then let's take this shade down here, Power Ballad, and put that on my lid. Last time we tried our fingers, so let's use a brush this time. No, that's not working very well. Let's try that again with our fingers. Yeah, it was not packing on very much with the brush. This is much better. Let's use this brush to put a little bit of uh, Rock of Ages under my lash line. So this is Kitty Likes to Scratch, which is the warm neutral palette of the collection. And like I said, the one I would be most attracted to if I was purchasing it in the store, both for the cat reference, but also because it's warm neutrals. Okay, so next up, we are gonna be playing with the Light My Fire palette. And this one says that it smells like cinnamon hearts. Looks like a little matchbox. So cute, let's open it up. No smell very warm. I wouldn't even call this a warm neutral palette. I would just call it like a warm palette. Okay. I kind of want to play with the yellow in it. Okay. So I'm going to be now using my new Barbie pure brushes. I picked these up on sale at Shoppers Drug Mart and they're so cute. Speaking of Shoppers Drug Mart, Too Faced is now sold at Shoppers Drug Mart. So get your optimum points. Okay. We're going to be starting off with Munchies up here. What a weird shadow name for a the palette that's that matches. And so we're gonna be using Munchies everywhere. This brush is too dense for that though. Let's pick a different brush. Okay, so for our transition shade, we're gonna use this yellow shade here called She's Wiz funny name. I actually never really played with like yellow and mustard shadow, but I think it's really kind of fun. I will say that if I saw this palette at the store, this is not one that I'd be initially drawn to. It's just not a color I typically play with, so I'm very interested to see how this turns out. I actually don't mind the yellow. Let me know down in the comments what you think of the yellow. This is kind of a fun experiment for me. Okay, so using the same brush, we're going to use this matte orange shade, Cheese Louise, to put that on my outer corner. Okay, so these names, Munchies and Cheese related, I thought it was going to be more of a matchbox, like more fire, like I don't know, ember type names, but these names are all reminding me of Cheetos. Please tell me I'm not the only one. You know, but like a tie-dye type effect going on. This is fun. Okay. I'm going to use a clean blending brush to just blend that together. Now we're going to take Old Flame over here. <laughs> old Flame over here and we're going to put this on my lash line. Build up some more depth. And then we're going to go in with fired up and we're gonna put this shimmery shade all over my lid. We're gonna use our finger. Yeah, we're gonna use our finger. The shade names are Munchies, Smokin', Fired Up, Flaming Hot, Sparks Fly, Taylor Swift, Cheese Whiz, Cheese Louise, and Old Flame. Okay, I just, I kind of find it funny that the names are Cheetos, but then also fire. It's like flaming Cheetos. Okay, let's swatch this. Okay, 
Okay, so this warm toned palette is definitely not one I would have been attracted to in the store. I would have probably found the yellow, orange, and the pink to be a little intimidating and not really my style, but on the eye, it looks really pretty. Like, I actually, I didn't think I'd like the yellow, but it's super pretty. So I will say that this brown here is a very Atlanta brown. That brown is really, really nice. When I swatched it, it's so buttery and smooth. Um, but I didn't want to use it because I wanted to kind of force myself to try something a little different with this look. And I actually kind of like it. I wouldn't pair it with this lip gloss, but again, we are just focusing on the eyes. So next up we have That's My Jam. And this is the purple palette in the collection, which is so cute. And I must say that when I saw this palette, it immediately reminded me of the PB&J 9 pan. And then they also did a PB and salted PB and J. Anyways, they did a peanut butter and jelly 9 pan in a tin a number of years ago that was very popular. And then they did like a second version. So this sort of, to me, it kind of taps into that. So kind of a little fun Too Faced nostalgia. And it has like a record player with a piece of toast on it for some reason. So this is what the palette looks like. It looks super, super dreamy and purple. And this one looks like an interesting, almost like a duo chrome. So we're definitely gonna play with that. Okay, so we are gonna start off with Spread It, which here is a matte, I would say like a petal pink. Ooh, that's quite a pink. Oh, and I forgot to mention smell. It says it smells like berry jam. I almost smell something with this one. Okay, so let's go in with this one over here, Toast. That's our transition shade. That brush feels really scratchy. It's a different one. And then let's take some of this darker one, Jam On It over here put it on the outer bit. It's like a purpley maroon color. That's quite pretty. And then we're just going to do a quick little blend everything in. I thought we could try two things. I want to try this one and I want to try this one. So let's first try this duochrome. I think it's a duochrome. Nope, never mind. This is the only one I want. Oh my goodness, it is so pretty. It reminds me of Space Cowboy. Do you guys remember that shadow from um, Urban Decay? Oh wow. Okay, this is really pretty. Let's just blend up here a little bit. Of course, we're gonna put a little bit under our eyes, but I think we're gonna stick in that, kind of these two here. I'm just gonna put them both on the brush. I'm gonna use that darker purple to do a little bit of a shadow liner. Okay, so let's swatch the palette. So that is, that's my jam. And again, super pretty, lots of pinks, lots of purples. I feel really pretty in this one. So why don't we get to talking about the whole collection? So for the entire time I've been filming, I've actually been wearing this headband to keep my hair off my face. I got it in the New Year's Eve <laughs> section at the dollar store. Okay, so right off the bat, the biggest thing I want to say about these eyeshadow palettes is none of them really have a smell. With Too Faced products, I'm used to opening them and being quite literally punched in the face with the smell of chocolate or fuzzy peaches. And these, like I actually really smell them and quite frankly, I didn't really smell anything. So let's talk about the good. Overall, I think these are some really cute little color stories. Too Faced always knocks it out of the park with fun branding. I think this is like super cute and cheerful and obviously is gonna look great in an Instagram flat lay. Um, overall, the formulas are very nice. I know Too Faced gets a lot of criticism for the formulas in their holiday collections, but I found across the board that when it comes to core shadows in Too Faced collection, especially ones that come in the metal tins, they're pretty good. The mattes are pretty blendable. The shimmers, um, 
I found were like a little grainy, but a little harder to work with. But once they're on the eye, just absolutely beautiful. I will say that for myself, I would probably use these to supplement a neutral palette with a pop of color. Whereas for me, Let's Play and Kitty Likes to Scratch are sort of all I need for a look. But if you're looking for something really pretty and neutral, I would say Kitty Likes to Scratch would be a really pretty everyday palette. If you're looking for a pop of pink for maybe your Valentine's Day plans at home, because that's where we're heading, definitely check out Let's Play. If you're looking for purples or you want a nod to the PB&J palette, or you're looking for something very springtime, floral, pretty, definitely look at That's My Jam. And I mean, this one is worth it, honestly, just for this really pretty kind of green-ish purpley shimmer. And if you really like warm tones or you want to experiment with mustard, definitely check out Light My Life. Again, that mustard was so fun to play with. Not a color I typically reach for. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, we talk about luxury handbags, luxury makeup, and if we're not in the global pandemic, I would love to tell you about luxury places to travel. We love all things beautiful and pretty here on my channel. We have lots of giveaways. We have a really, really fun time. We've got a great little community, so I'd love it if you would join us. Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, all of that typical YouTuber stuff, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mwah.